At first login, the user have a guest role with no access to any functionality. A B management system administrator will enable the his role, the access to the project and the functionalities needed. Administrators have access to the user and project management to set roles, permissions, project and ontologies. The user's requested role are visible in the table waiting the authorization by the administrator. It can enable all requests, discard or remove the existing roles. User can also be enabled as administrator too. Project Bean can also invite users to a project by email. It can assign roles selecting from a list. All invited users will receive a welcome email and then will proceed to registration as seen before. An habitant role is also enabled to be assigned to a building zones. The zones are building locations as rooms where the inhabitant lives and will be used to map the user to a set of devices. This is how can be created a new resource in the Beam management system. The most common use case is a designer that wants to upload a Beam model to share the design to the owner or his colleagues. There is a wizard that step by step guide the user to compile the data necessary to create a new resource in the B management system. We define the resources, selecting the scope, category and typology. In example, we have an IFC model of the building, then we can compile the title of the resource and description. The user can also set a property of an ontology class to describe the resource and link a data relationship. Then define the location of the resource in a map with a latitude and longitude set as a geolinked data. The resource can also be linked to an existing IFC in the Beam management system. Finally, a file is selected for upload and the status is set. Our resources appear in a resource list where can be filtered and can be managed. Some status workflow, like changes from work in progress to shared status after a review session or a validation input. From the list can be selected a resource that uh, we can see its detail following the same wizard see before. The resource file can be downloaded and opened in the computer. In the same way, a user can upload other kind of resources like PDFs, images, videos, etc. In this example is a sketch drawing. This kind of resource can be uploaded following the same wizard seen before, but assigning the correct scope, category and typology that allow to classify the items. A good practice can be also set an ontology property for the linked data view. Another example of a resource is the logbook. The logbook stores all the information of the building during its life cycle. 
It has a specific scope in the beam management system. The logbook is organized in group of information with different fields that need to be compiled and viewed by different users like the end user, inhabitant or the owner or the professional involved in the building. The data fields in the logbook can be written by different users taking into account their role in the project. There is a set of role permissions on the fields that allow to write only specific roles and set a read-only mode for others that are not authorized. This kind of setup is defined to make possible to keep informed some parties while allowing to edit some others. Also logbook is a resource and can be linked with other resources, ontologies, geolinked data and will be set with a resource status. As seen before, a resource can be geolinked. There is a, a specific functionalities in BIM management system that show all geolinked resources created in the project. This functionality allows to open the data to the geographical information systems. All geolinked resources contain information about the latitude and longitude set on the resources. The BIM management system have functionalities also to include directly information as linked data, creating resources that can be directly compiled by the users, assign existing ontologies, selecting the classes and defining the properties for these classes. Storing and sharing so much information needs functionalities that allow also to search a specific kind of resources, filtering by type, description, data, status, creator, and so on. Every resources can be filtered with this field by the users. Another main functionality is the Beam Viewer that allows to navigate through the IFC models with our viewer. The viewer allows so moving around the model, select the entities, check their properties. A tree view allows to check and select items, looking down the relationships between objects, going through the building, the stories, the types and the single entities. The right panels show the properties read directly from the IFC file and stored in the Beam Management System database. There are also functionalities to hide, show, isolate and zoom into the elements selected. The viewer can show the building zones and spaces very useful to share the data related to the sensors and the renovation works that will be used for the entire beam for ab toolkit. A useful tree view allows to select the, these zones and check the data linked to them. As for example, the, exam the sensors measurements of temperature, humidity and other metering systems associated to the space and other linked data that refers to the locations like activities, planning and so on. About the linked data, a live SparkWell query is done for the item and it can show the resources in a relationship with this item. When the data is coming to grow, this will be useful to see the relationships between the foundation of linked data chat.
A Spark Welcome endpoint is available in the B management system, where the user can find their resources writing a Spark Well query. The result will be viewed as table, raw data, as a graph, and finally, if the data is related to an IFC model element, can be listed also with the element with R related. This endpoint exposes the Virtuoso database and its functionalities. The same queries could be done by the other tools also via API calls. The example showed a query in the model uploaded in the B management system where we are asking about the name of spaces and locations. The B models can be viewed but also downloaded not only the original format but also in two RDF ontology types, IFC OWL and BOT ontology. About the ontology, there is a viewer that lists all the ontologies used and stored in the B management system. Graph viewer allows to see nodes and relationships, their properties and links to the details in the repository. Ontologies can be added and stored giving a name, a URI for the TTL and a URL for the documentation. There is also a specific page in the B management system web portal that is used to store the KPI. Another section is dedicated to, for the API documentation. And finally, a page where the user will find the tools, a link for the web page to access to the specific functionalities. In this example, you can see how to access to BIM CPD for the BIM management system through the BIM CPD main page. That's all. Thank you for attention.